How are you all doing, Ralph here, Ralph with Customs. Time for another vlog. Um, maybe only a couple of jobs on this one. We've got to do a bit on the angle grinder, the new one that's absolutely fantastic, but it needs a guard. And then we're going to look at how Mickey's fucked up back brake. Sorted. <laughs> Here's the problem. We don't have a guard for this machine. Now it does it runs five inch discs, lovely, and that makes a difference. But they're all my sanding discs are four and a half. I've got some five inch grinding and cutting, and it's a great thing to have. They are a welcome addition. The problem I've got is the guards I've got they don't fit, they're for four and a half inch discs and they're fucking tight tight on there I'm gonna to have to hammer it on there um, and what I'm gonna to have to do is I think I'm gonna to have to cut the edge off it so cut this return bit off it and then make a new one that sits a quarter of an inch further out which will be the difference between four and a half and five inch it's half inch which is quarter of an inch each side so if we make it ten mil wider instead of six then we'll have plenty won't we so that's the fucking plan now i'm not sure the best way of doing it i can slice that off no problem let me cut in this and then i need to fabricate a strip this circumference the uh, diameter sorry and weld it on there and then i need to put an edge on it don't i so i think I'm going to maybe utilise some of this for the edge. Hmm. And look at me scrap pile, it's not scrap, my stock pile, I don't know why I said scrap, for something like this 1.2mm to make a curved bit out of. So I'll get that cut off and uh, then we'll look at marking it out. Okay, so that's that cleaned up. I was thinking of making just a slice a little bit wider. So I've come on here. I don't think it will show the marking out very clear on there, but I've traced around that and then I've traced around the big one, the one that needs to go inside it. If I place that on there, then we're not far off. You know, there's a bit of wiggle room, ain't there, with these? There's a bit of clearance, so you could almost get a six, uh, five inch in there. And we only need a little bit. And I'm thinking of following the outline of that, but leave a bit, you know. So I'll do it with a marker pen so it's clearer <coughs> and cut to the outside of the marker pen and that'll give us more clearance. Or setting up some dividers at five and a half inch plus a bit and centre popping and scratching the line. And then instead of trying to do a little slice, just do it any shape and weld it on the back. Don't matter, does it? Don't have to follow exactly. It's not going in a fucking show, is it? It's just to stop me chopping my fingers off. So, yeah, let's see what I can I do. I went for the scribe. Again, I don't know how well it'll show up. Oh, you can see it. I went for a scribed line at just over five inches, five and eighth or something. It gives me a little bit of clearance. So all I need to do is cut half of it out, pretty much, and then chop a bit out to weld on there for the weld, so it misses that for So... I'll do that off camera with a cutting disc. Hey, okay. and get that fucking ready to weld on. No, there she blows. No, hey, hey, don't matter about that bit. Don't have to follow anything. I'll get a few tacks on there, weld that up, and I even thought I can reuse the bit I cut off. Just formed it to fit. Sorry, I'm not filming it very well. Formed it, opened it out to fit, and where where it comes on the ends here, where it comes short. I've just cut the fucking guard off. Level. Don't matter. It's good enough. Happy day. So I'll get that tacked on. 
get that tacked on and then uh, we'll give it a weld and a clean up and hopefully after all that I can force this fucking ring onto the fucking onto the collar here I reckon it'll go I don't see why not if not I'll have to sort something out but I reckon it'll be me and now that that's done we can get this rim on I'm just going to balance it on a rule to keep it from dropping inside and we'll get a tack on the centre there and then we'll manipulate it round as we as we go like so we'll get our tacked on welded up cleaned up uh, and we're about here then okay so we've ended up with a bit of a franken fucking guard but we got a uh, i had to cut it in several places around here to stretch the ring over <laughs> stretch the ring over the flange what the fuck and weld an extra bit on the end there to get the pinch so uh it wasn't quite you know it didn't reach because i stretched it out so happy days it's good, fucking does the job look, put a fucking disc on and it protects me from the disc which is what it's all about so let's get out on quick look there we go, it misses, it works Every, everyone's fucking happy, we we'll better to run that up now if I can, bear with, a bit, the switch is a bit stiff there we go, no drama sorted, I know, next up We've got our mickeys, so we're going to look at this disc that's fucking warped and it's throwing this caliper off. What's caliper move look when I fucking... I don't know if he... Can, can he catch that? And it's warped and like I say, it's fucking... It's dished out. We put a straight edge along here and then this goes away from it and it's not even equal. It's proper bent out of shape. So I've got the unenviable, in my opinion, task of getting it all apart, putting a straight flat disc on and seeing how the caliper sits and then making adjustments to the spacing if needs be. So let's get this all stripped out. Right, let's get the fucking caliper off. A couple of Torx fittings. They're tight. Well, I'll put them in. So, why they're that tight, I don't know. Bear with. Why so tight, Ralphie? Why? So fucking tight. See, the bike slid then on the wood. The handlebars moved. Right. Let's try again. Take the caliper off. These two fucking bolts, draw bolts. Yeah, it's, it slides on them. So it's just a nice slide fit. And then this should wiggle out the way, exposing the pads, the keeper spring, which is pain in the arse, by the way. And pretty new pads. And also stainless steel sliders. There's a little bit, a little bit you can see where they've just scuffed slightly, where they've been touching, but it's far from even. And that's where he's losing his braking. Um, and I totally believe it's just because this disc is warped. So let's have a look. So now there's wheel adjusters each side here. And what I'm going to do is just crack the lock nut and then wind them out. I should have a ratcheting spanner. Yeah, here we go. Wind them out with a ratcheting spanner. And then when I put it back together, I'll just do it until the lock nut touches. And then we know we're back where we started. So we'll do that both sides. Just to give me a bit of slack on the belt side. So the spindle comes out okay. Um, and there's also a little cover on here. Well, I'll bear with which is held in with a tiny little grub screw that I've not got an Allen key for. So I'll get an Allen key for that and we'll have that cover off and then I'll do the same to the other side with the adjuster and the cover and it's a spindle out job. Right. I've already cracked this undone. So the nut off. A flange. Flange nut. 
Just wanted to say flange. Uh, and now we'll fucking tap, tap, it tap this. Again, fucking handlebars turning. And I think memory serves me well. I need to get a longer drift, although I might, I might manage off camera to get the spindle out. Nah, I need a longer drift. I get a longer drift, not out through proper. Go then. Scream if you want to go faster. Support the spindle on the other side. And there we go. It's a boy! So now, we pull that out, the wheel will drop down, and you should better just push it forward a bit and get the belt off. But it's not, uh, it's not throwing itself at me. See if I can get this caliper hanger off. That might help. If I can wriggle there you go, get this spacer out, that might actually come off, off, and fuck off out of the way, while I'm messing around, might, but I don't think it will, let's see, okay now, I can just, just about, I can't actually, Oh, I can't just about get the boat off. There we go. Boat's off. Now the wheel can come out the back. But I need to get this brake caliper hanger. This caliper hanger needs to fuck off as well. So, Whew. I'll uh, wriggle my way around that in due course, I think. It's going to be the answer there. Oh, there we go. Now I can get to these. And I'll undo these bolts. Take the disc off. Put the new one on. Uh, I might leave the wheel there while I'm doing it. I don't. It, it doesn't have to come out like You know, as long as I can get to all five bolts, which I can, then uh, the job should be a good one. So I'll crack on and I do know. it. So, hold on. Bear with oh. Getting me fucking brute. So we can rattle these fucking bolts out. Can't we? Once I fucking get my kit sorted out. I can't because it won't fucking undo. Let's have a change then. Fuck you. I had this off. Last week, a week before, here we go. So we'll have all these bolts out. Like so, I can get at least three with it just how it is. So I'll have those three out. Fucking how long. Just rotate it slightly. Yeah, there's a spacer for the other side. Come fucking walk is Come back. What the fuck? Right, get these last two out. <clears throat> and then we should be able to drop the disc off. And yes, I can lift it up, set the wheel right out, but it's, it's happy where it is like, you know, not in the way, is it? It's supporting it for me. There we go. Now, you just need to jiggle it around so we can get the disc out that's fucked. Definitely and absolutely, it's like a fucking banana. Fucking thing. So, my thing, my thing I'm not sure about 
is get a new one. It's as flat as a fucking pancake. It's absolutely wonderful, beautiful, fucking happy days this guy. So get that in position. Like fucking so. Just get to pull the wheel back a bit, bear with. So now the space has come off. So we've got a line. Here we go. The, the struggle is real. Yeah. If you're watching, Chris, the struggle is real, my friend. So get that there, look. Somewhere around there. And this takes different bolts. No surprise there, is there? So we've got the different bolts, look. Happy days, that is. In you go. Your beauties. <sighs> Let's hope that this fixes it. This is, you know, everything lines up. I really hope that everything fucking lines up with regard to caliper, etc. etc. So I'll get those in. And then we'll look at lining, uh, again, it built back up and see what's what. And so in the reverse of the strip down, disassembly procedure, that's the word. I've got a pry bar. No, I'm taking the weight of the wheel. And I've put that long drift through the spindle hole. I don't think you can see it. It's just poking through there where my finger is. Um, and we're going to try and wiggle and jiggle and get everything kind of lined up unfortunately i've just realized that i'm using my hammer that you can't see <laughs> oh there we go i can push it around uh, there's a lever i find there's a fulcrum that's the word there's a fulcrum so i wouldn't have been able to tap the spindle but there you go we've done it so that's that now I can now look at how the discs run in relation to this caliper hanger, and <coughs> yeah, it looks good. It does look good. So <coughs> I'm tempted now to build the put the discs back. Uh, sorry, put the pads back without putting the spindle through, and just try it. But I suppose I could just whack the spindle through. That one out, would it? I might do that. Might spindle through. Don't tighten anything up. No, fuck it. I'll leave that. I'll leave that like that. I'll just move you. There you go. So now I can build these back up and I can put these stainless slippery doodars on. And then the pads one at a time. Go on bit tricky. Am I blocking your way? No, I'm not, am I? But I'll get these on, maybe off camera, because they're a bit fiddly, look. And the camera's kind of in the way, so move you again. It's not a, it's not a difficult job, it's just fiddly. So, there we go, there's one on. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> get the other one on. It's like fucking so... Get in there, go on. I might need a little screwdriver just to uh, see what I've done. Look, that's rotated. I told you it was fiddler. Holding these fucking stainless slippers, stainless sliderina really. See, if you're not careful, they go round too far and touch the fucking disc. They're happy to do that, you know. It's, one of the things they like doing. So, yeah. All right, try again. Second one. Come on. Normally you can yeah, go give it a squeeze and on the go. We oui. And then the caliper should. The, oh, no. Not forgetting the spring. This spring is a right fucking pain. I don't mind telling you, it kind of fucking hangs there, like, there's little pockets for the ends to go in that you can't see on this. There you go. 
anti-fucking rattle. Uh, I don't know if we need to push the uh, yeah, this back in. We might. I might have to get a clamp on it and give it a squeeze. I'll give that a quick squeeze off camera, and then we'll look at getting this in. So with that piston push back in, it gives us a nice access, like fucking so. Do those bolts up. Like fucking so. They don't have to be mad tight. Um, now we can go and work the pedal. I mean, the wheel's not going to move a fucking lot. Maybe get the spindle in. I'll, I'll go and work the pedal and see what transpires before anything else. Okay, so let me just click my fucking microphone back on. Russell, Russell, rattle, rattle. Now we have a really good fucking pedal and next to no movement. There's a little bit there actually still, but I think that'll bed out. It feels good. It doesn't lock up. It, it frees off. But we can spin it. And when I put the brake on, it locks up. And I think that that is job fucking done. I don't know what else to do, to be fair, like. I think that's good. So, happy days. Everything seems to be working as it should. We've got a good pedal. We've got a good brake. I've been sat on it in gear with it running like, you know, spinning the back wheel up and stopping it with a brake, and it's just well behaved. It is. I've uh, you've also... Slightly adjusted his clutch because there was fucking nothing in it. There's no slack in it. It was biting right at the top, which is not ideal. <coughs> the reason we did that before was because you couldn't find neutral. They were, they're notoriously bad or difficult. So I've adjusted it out just a little bit, just so it suits it better. You know, it sits better. Uh, what's next on the agenda is side stand locking bolt. <coughs> That side stand locking bolt needs to be, needs a washer or something under it because it's just take out just a bit more. Well, I don't think it can. I think it's going to hit the ground if it does. We could weld, we could weld a foot on the end, couldn't we? Maybe, maybe weld a foot on the end for him. I'm thinking that's chrome though and it's going to fuck it, isn't it? Unless we're drilling taps on it in the end. Do a drill and tap thing. Don't know. I can get that. He can't. He struggles. Bless him. <clears throat> Which is not ideal when you're riding a full custom bike, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, I think we'll leave that well alone. So, yeah, that went all right. <clears throat> I don't know what it's recorded. Um, I try and do it a little bit differently so you can see a bit more of what I do. It might be fucking boring, but... Who knows? Who knows? You tell me. Put your comments in the description, in the doodle, in the, you know, below, in the appropriate place. Let me know. Let me know what you think of the style of video in. Right, eaters are on. Fucking hell. It is. What, I've managed to get it up to 8 degrees or something. 30, 40, 48 degrees, which is 8 degrees centigrade in here. I've run out of fucking oil in the space eater. So <coughs> we've got the electric on both ends, look. Little infrared while I have a brew and a big five kilowatt fucking fan eater on here, which is absolutely brilliant when you stood three foot away or nearer, a bit like a space eater. Let's just angle it down so it's not all blowing up in the roof. I've got this Mr. Nigel's fucking different Mr. Nigel, not a tattoo bloke. I've got his in because I think that's next, but I'm not sure. I need to go into the orifice, which you rarely see. Uh, which is this this room underneath the storage and work through the jobs Mickey's is done that's going out Todd's is done that's going out the middle one there is our Lee's and I need to do some move the foot peg brackets then that's going off for exhaust <coughs> Graham's is there, that needs work doing on it, he's bringing some bits. So 
So I'll wait until I've got those bits. Our DNOs is stalled, waiting for a petrol tank. Nick is stalled, waiting for a visit. It's my FJ1200 if you want to buy it, let me know. It's complete. The previous owner was going to restore it, so he started stripping it, but I've got all the bits and it's only been off the road a few months. Um, and I've got another job coming in. It's also our Andrews Triumph there to do a frame on which I'm doing this month. So I've got two frames to do this month and other bits and bobs. I'm just not sure what bits and bobs I'm going to get on with at this time. Okay, so I'll finish off with a walk round of my beautiful Triumph. I'm besotted. Um, what I've done, I've given it a, a once over. Regular subscribers, regular viewers will know that uh, I recently did an oil change, which meant having the exhaust off um, and tightened the chain up. And I've just gone round it with, I've put them away now, but every fastener has been at a spanner or an Allen key or whatever, just to make sure it's tight because it's, it's done one season um, and it's worth going round again. Now, I found not a major fault, but if you followed the uh, playlist of this bike, you'll notice you will have seen that I fitted this digital speedo. You will have also seen that that's because these are Daytona wheels, not uh, Trophy 900, T300 like the wheels. So they don't match the rest of the running gear. They're, they're, they're different Triumph wheels. So I've had to delete the speedo drive, made the speedo drive delete with the stainless center and an alloy outer. And also I made these disc adapters because the trophy discs didn't fit the Daytona wheels. And I wanted to keep the regular calipers because they fit on the forks right and so on and so forth. Um, what I had to do was put these little rare earth magnets in the caliper bolts, yeah. I couldn't put them in those because they won't go in, and these are titanium into aluminium, so they won't stick very well. Um, and they didn't stick great in there, so I super glued them in. Now, I've just wanted to check that these were tight, so I've had to pull them out. Uh, and this time round, I have, okay, now that one's a bit wobbler. I've black silicon them in because they came out far too easily. It's just, you know, I, I put a little pick in, moved them, and they flicked, and they broke this, the uh, super glue free, the crazy glue, which is fine, you know, it's not really made for sticking uh, magnets to stainless steel, but that's what I used. It stood a year, and just silicon them in. So that's that, really. Uh, everything else is absolutely fucking tickety boo. What else have I done? Nothing, tightened everything up. So everything stood a little tweak, but nothing majorly alarmed me. And that means that the old fucking Triumph is ready now. It's had the oil change. It's had the ones over. It's been fitted as well with this uh, detachable, temporarily fitted, this detachable uh, wireless charger for my phone. So my phone can go in there. Uh, and I can use that as a sat-nav uh, and a speedo if I need to because I'm thinking of strapping shit across my handlebars to save me from the worst of the rain because I ain't got front wheel guard so I'm going to put uh, something when I go away I'll put my dust bag or something in a dry, dry sack across the handlebars so yeah, that's it that's fucking gleaming so that's that sorted that will now go out back into the garage section and the next two jobs in line are lined up. We've got that box of bits there belongs to our Lee's Triumph, Bangkok Bonnie. And that box of bits there belongs to Mr. Nigel's GS1000 Chop. That's what I'm going to be doing uh, the next two days, a day on each, I think, or a bit of time on each at least. So. Stay tuned so for So there that. you go. That just leaves me as always to thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. It makes a massive difference. Drop us a comment and I'll try and get back. Check out my friends, merchandise, memberships, buying me a coffee and all that shit in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love, everyone. Have a great one.